Um, I just realized that I never showed this um, two-string axe diddly bow on YouTube. I've shown it on a few times, quite a few times on um, Instagram, but I um, figured I'd show it on here. This was built um, pretty much entirely from found objects. Uh, the axe, believe it or not, people throw <laughs> threw this axe out in the garbage and I was glad to pick it up. Um, so this axe I probably had, I don't know, had it for quite a while just sitting in my, at my work. Um, just sitting in the corner. It's probably something I always figured I would just restore but I didn't. So I just had the idea one day to make this into a guitar or you know something like a guitar. Um, it was actually probably like just the one day build. I did not record building this. And um, I just started with the, obviously the axe. I had two tuning. Um, these are classical guitar style um, machines or tuning machines. Um, these aren't normally what people use, but because they're actually, they come in like sideways, actually from the back used. So I cut the um, cut these, and that way I could use them. And I could, out of a normal six-string guitar, then I could make three of these kind of instruments, or six of them if I made just one string. You know, whatever. You can figure that out. Um, for the um, for the nut and the uh, bridge, th these are three-eighths bolts, cut down. It's all thread. You know, threaded all the way. So then I have just two regular screws that are guiding the strings. Um, as far as the electronics, this pickup, I bought a um, first act guitar that was like a Stratocaster style on Facebook Marketplace. And I think I paid $25 for it. 25 or th probably 25 I think. I, I wouldn't probably pay that much more for it. Um, and the person was happy to get rid of it. So that had three pickups. So out of that guitar, if I order extra jacks, I can build three guitars. You know, because the tone and the volume uh, pots, as far as I have found, are the same. So there's going to be three knobs on the Strat style guitar, three pickups, but only one jack. So I just ordered a bunch of jacks, like from Amazon. Um, let me unplug this. So the knob is, I, we just found this on one of our walks, it's just a piece of a branch. And this wood was, I saved this for a while too, this was a, just a really cool looking piece, of, it was larger. And this, um, this was eaten by probably termites and whatever, and this is something I would find in the, in the street, in the alley. Someone would just cut a tree down and they would cut up a bunch of pieces of wood and put them out in the alley and people can take them for firewood or whatever. So I took that and I cut it down and then I cut like a wedge with a Dremel kind of with like a grinder on it. I cut a wedge into there. Actually I think I just broke a piece off of the knob because the knob is... anyway. Um, <laughs> that's fine. Um, yeah, so I drilled a, uh, grinded a little piece in there and then f filled that with super glue, like loaded it with super glue, and um, just then I just like kind of like wedged the axe into there, and it's it's pretty sturdy. I've tried pulling it apart a few times, but yeah, I was just as I was playing this, I was thinking this is like one guitar that where you can kind of like you're playing it and you can break pieces off of it almost because there's some pieces that aren't you know they're just like little little piece there, and that's what I just did on the knob. And then uh, you can see I just drilled out the back and put the, for the knob and the uh, input jack. And I just painted the wires black. Um, and the tailpiece is also a found object, just a, an old cabinet um, hinge. And that's about all there is to this. Um, I did, the reason why I wanted to show this is because this this is actually one of my more playable, uh, just more fun to play the junk instruments. And um, I don't know, just I've seen axe 
axe guitars before, but I haven't seen one with a wedge on there, so I figured I'd show it. Maybe, maybe it looks a little unique. Um, I still have another chunk, like an actual piece, just like this. Maybe I can use for a future project. Um, so yeah, this is something that's fun to build, and if you want to build something like this, it's it's quite simple. You could do it in a in a day, like I said that I did, um, and it doesn't take much. As far as knowing how to use tools, it's, there's no, there really aren't that many tools you need to use. You really can build it quickly. Oh, and I, I forgot, I have two finishing nails that hold the, um, see how they hold the uh, strings in place, the little barrels there. That's it. Very simple. I do have a humbucker that's on my tennis racket guitar. I thought I might put on here because that that's only got one string. I really don't like one string. Um, I really don't like one string instruments because for me it's not really that, not much I can do on it. Um, so I might switch that to this and switch this to the other one. And then just, just today I I just had these stickers, I just put them on there so it would be easier to play. Um, and actually putting these uh, letters for the chords have kind of helped me understand a little bit more about some music theory. Believe it or not, it looks like it's a cheat. but it's actually helped me to more understand like the one, four, and five chords like when people talk about that I'm not really a mathematical person so those kind of things kind of slip me up. I usually just do things by ear that's why a lot of things that I do don't sound quite right um, so anyway thanks for watching and um, thanks for supporting me through this and uh, continue to watch and I'll continue to build these unique instruments Thanks. Thank you. Have a, have a wonderful day.